Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Pallas from the New Renaissance, and here we have another training video. Or do we call these vlogs now? Whatever. Here we go. This one's entitled, If You Give Your Great Patients Great Results and Think That's The Only Component to Patient Care, You're Mistaken. And they're going to do something very predictable. You know what they're going to do? They're going to leave on cue. And that's just the opposite of what we've been taught. And we're not beating a dead horse here, but if we educated people, we had a complete system of patient education, what's going to happen? People are going to understand what you do more. Because if we just base it on results or how a patient feels, both the patient is in danger and so aren't you, doctor, because just like a cavity that hasn't turned into a cavity, just like a heart attack that isn't a heart attack yet, it's not specifically how a person feels. Of course, when a person's feeling, you know, they're, they're injured, we obviously want to help that person, but most problems are silent till they get to a certain point. So if we just base it on results or how a person feels, results alone can't cut it. And, and again, all the musculoskeletal pain relief isn't going to change patients' belief about what we do. And here it is. Most people are open to more extensive chiropractic care. Let me prove it. If you're working out, is it working out just to lose weight to fit into that bathing suit? Or is it a fitness lifestyle? Everything that you value in your life, from your computer to your car, to your home, to appliances, has an extended warranty. What's an extended warranty? It's an ongoing way of caring for whatever you purchased. What could be more important than health? So what we do is when you have different types, so instead of just having condition-based care, and that's okay, but they'll thank you when you introduce them because there's a lot of people that want different types of care. And especially when they trust you. And to say, hey, listen, we can do this two ways. We can take care of your problem. That's what you came in for. But you may also want to make improvements. Maybe you want to be a better athlete. Maybe you want to be a better grandparent. Maybe you want to be a better parent. Maybe you want to be more active. Whatever it is, if we give people choices and just don't do what they say they want to do, because like a kid, they want to eat cookies and pizza and drink beer. <laughs> They're not going to want to eat what's good for them. And we have to... Have a little bit of guidance in there, if you know what I mean. So when we have more than one type of care, it really makes a difference. And there's this magic moment in all relationships when that person understands that you're trying to help them. All of a sudden, the wallet relaxes a little bit. They said, okay, their arms uncross. I'll give you a little quick little story. When I was in the second grade, there was only two classifications of kids. You're either regular, this is the word they used back then, or retarded. I was sick all the time. I had tonsil problems, ear infection. I was always sick, missing school, and I couldn't hear. So I was literally deaf when she wrote something on the board. I'm as smart as the next kid. Second grade, I got flagged. I'm put in this class. The lady wouldn't listen to me. I kept saying, get me out of here. I'd raise my hand how to spell cat. We were on it for three months. And I said, hey, I know how to spell cat, lady. And I'd raise my hand. And a ruler can be used to measure distance or it can be used as a weapon. Well, every time I raised my hand, she'd whack it. I stopped answering questions, and you feel depressed. You don't know where to turn. You can't tell your parents. Kids don't have rights. And along comes this student teacher, and she says, if you read at the third grade level, I'll get you out of this place. She saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. I was losing hope. I didn't know what to do. And boy, when I could read at that third grade level, she got me out of that class. But I'll tell you, she paid a price. She got fired. I've never been able to thank this woman for what she did. She put herself in harm's way to get me out of trouble, to give me a second chance. I didn't know I wanted to be a chiropractor in the second grade, but I sure as hell knew I wanted to help people and give people a second chance. And that's why I'm here today, because in every relationship, when that patient knows that you really want to help them, they'll listen more to you. When you help people with health conditions, like when I help chiropractors become more successful, more happy, to be able to reach more people, there's this magical aha moment when that person knows that you're helping them and they start saying yes instead of can't afford it. I'll ask my spouse, does insurance cover it? They start to cooperate. So again, if you just stick to results and deliver results and be a musculoskeletal adult person, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to add to it, if you want to help more people, more thorough, and to be able to see more difficult cases, and see some children, see wellness, see expanded scope, and if you want to practice more that way, then you're going to have to do something more than just offering adult musculoskeletal care. And this is Dr. Kevin Pallas from the New Renaissance saying that every person watching this, or at least I hope, you know you can be doing better. I'm going to show you how. Thanks for watching.